Hi, we're out on a range today. Not the range, but a range. And as I'm filming this, it is November of 2022. Now today I'm going to show you a few things and it comes with a couple of caveats. First, most of what I'm going to show you is stuff that you've already seen. There's going to be very little new material, probably very little that's going to be useful to you, but there are reasons why I'm doing this. Some might even say there's 114 reasons that I'm doing this. Secondly, what we're putting out today is in addition to our normal weekly content, not instead of, so you're not getting shortchanged. Okay, with that, I'm wearing this setup that you've probably seen many times. It's your old school belt, your old school Y harness suspenders. I've got my Beretta 92FS with a 15 shot magazine. I've already done a presentation on this holster. We don't need to talk about that. And I typically carry three extra 15 shot magazines. Now, just to be clear, I own lots of 15 shot magazines for this pistol and I've owned them for a long time. But while on the range, I'll typically carry one plus three. There are reasons for that, and it has nothing to do with theatrics. But let me show you another setup that's like this, but a little bit different. Now I'm wearing a different belt and different suspenders. They're basically identical, but they are different. And you might notice this is a different holster. Now the manufacturer sent me this holster, asked me to do a review of it, which we will do in the near future. But for right now, suffice it to say that this holster holds my Ruger 5.7 with a 20 shot magazine. I also have a mag pouch that has two additional 5.7 20 shot magazines in them. Now I only have three magazines, but because they're 20 shot mags, I actually have just as many rounds as I would have with the four 15 shot mags for the 92F. Now when you're looking at this mag pouch, some of you may think that it looks like an M1 carbine mag pouch. That's because it is. Here's an M1 carbine mag pouch with two 15 shot M1 carbine magazines in it. Now if I take the 20 shot Ruger 5.7 mag, in terms of width and thickness, it's very similar to the M1 carbine magazine. But when I put it in this pouch, you'll see that it's too long. It won't fasten. I've had to modify this mag pouch. Let me show you a close up of it. Because the magazines are too long, what I had to do was take another M1 carbine mag pouch and cut the flap off and sew it onto here. That's why you see the two snaps, making it longer so it'll snap and it works out great. So this setup works pretty well for me, especially when I then pick up my Ruger LC carbine, caliber 5.7 by 28, which also has 20 shot magazines. Now the setup matches carbine and pistol of the same caliber. I already have extra mags for the rifle on the belt and it's a good setup. And of course I have quite a few 20 shot magazines, some of which are still in the original packaging because even though I've had all of these mags for quite a while, there's some I just haven't had the need to deploy them yet. But while I have this mag pouch out and we're talking about M1 carbine magazines, let me show you something. Now, obviously I'm wearing a different setup and I have my M1 carbine. M1 carbines would have originally had 15 shot magazines. Today, 30 shot magazines are very common and I have several of them. Now, on this setup, I have M16 mag pouches. And one of the great things about M16 mag pouches is that in addition to holding M16 magazines, they're the right size and shape to hold a lot of other things very well, like several 30 shot M1 carbine magazines. And I have several 30 shot magazines and I've had them for a long time. And in these upper pouches, they're pretty good for holding the 15 shot magazines. Now, I have another M16 mag pouch, and this could hold more magazines, or it's really convenient just for holding a box of ammunition. These magazine pouches are very versatile. But the main point here is that I have these 30 shot magazines, I have quite a few of them, and I've had them for a long time. But now, let me show you something else. Now I have the same setup with the same M16 mag pouch, but I have an AK platform, caliber 7.62 by 39 with a 30 shot mag. And of course, I have quite a few 30 shot magazines. This does not represent all of them. And I even have the banana mag. And I've had these magazines for a long time. But when it comes to carrying the 30 shot magazines, you have to remember that M16 mag pouches are made to hold three M16 or AR platform magazines. 
AK magazines are too wide to fit three of them in the mag pouch. But if I take two of them and I turn them at this angle, two of them will fit in the mag pouch just fine, except for being too long to get it to snap shut. So what's the solution? Obviously, to just get AK mag pouches. However, I don't like a lot of them that I've seen, and I don't want to change out all my gear. So the solution for me is that I'm going to keep the 30-shot magazine in the rifle. And when I need to reload, I'm just going to discard that 30-shot magazine and reload with the 20-shot magazine that's in my mag pouch. Now, it's 20, not 30, but it fits in my mag pouch. And so I can carry these. Now, when it comes to reloading again, typically with AR platform rifles and those magazines, I'll get my new magazine out before I eject the old magazine out of the rifle, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But in this case, that's very difficult for me to manipulate with the wider magazines that go into an AK. So what I'm going to do is take this magazine out, put it back in the mag pouch, and then get out my other 20-shot magazine. And this can be a little more time-consuming, but in my opinion, in the field, in the things that I envision that I might do, you really have to retain those magazines. And of course, in my other M16 mag pouch on the other side, I have more 20-shot magazines. And I have had these 20-shot magazines and these 30-shot magazines for a long time. Now, the idea of certain mags fit in your mag pouches and then you have one magazine that doesn't and that's the one you start with is not the sole bailiwick of AK platform rifles. Let me show you something else. So in the same sense that my 30-shot AK mag won't fit into my mag pouches, Greg has a SCAR 16S caliber 5.56 NATO which uses the same magazines as AR platform rifles. But in his rifle, he has a 40-shot magazine, and his LBV only has 30-shot mag pouches. So when he goes to reload, he's just going to ditch that magazine, which hopefully we'll find later, get out a 30-shot mag, and reload the rifle. Now, when it comes to 30-shot AR magazines, Greg has quite a few of them and has had them for a long time. The number of 30-shot AR mags I have would best be described as dozens. I even have a couple of the 20-shot AR mags. And we've had these magazines for a long time. Now, while we're talking about AR reload drills, what I was talking about earlier is when I go to reload my AR, I'm going to get this mag out of the pouch before I get rid of the outgoing mag. And then I'm going to retain that outgoing mag in my magazine pouch. It may have rounds in it that I want to use later, or even if it doesn't, I don't want to lose that magazine in the field. Now, something else that doesn't really have anything to do with what we're talking about is, people are going to ask about these doodads on the top of Greg's rifle. I don't want to go into the lengthy explanation because it's not relevant to today's topic, but these are gadgets that make the rifle compatible with Greg's ANPVS-7 night observation device, which is not to be confused with my ANPVS-7 night observation device. And we have to have them both on the table, because what's that movie where the guy says, Ho Chi Minh, Colonel Sanders, possibly the same person, because you never see them together? Well, we have to make sure that you see them together so you know that there are, in fact, two of them. And another question that people are going to ask that has nothing to do with what we're talking about today is why ANPVS 7s? Because when I went to Cabela's, that's what they had. Okay, let's show you something else. A lot of times when we're in the field, we're just shooting 22 rifles, and we both have 10 22s, for which we have 25 shot magazines. I have quite a few 25 shot magazines for my 10 22, and although some of them are new in the package, they're still in the package because I've never had the need to deploy them. I've had all of these magazines for a long time. Now, another one of the cool things about M16 mag pouches is they're good for holding 1022 magazines. And on Greg's LBV, you can see that his mag pouches also hold 1022 magazines. Now, when using 22 rifles, we very often will carry 22 pistols. And I'll show you mine in a moment, but on Greg's LBV, 
he's carrying this Taurus 22, and we've done a review of it, and he's got 16 rounds in the magazine, and he's got a couple of magazines for it, and he's had those magazines for a long time. Now, let me show you something else. Now we're back on the range, and I told you I'd show you my 22 pistol. Well, I've taken off my M16 mag pouch and put on my M9 holster. It's made to fit the Beretta M9. So it'll fit my Beretta M922, caliber 22 long rifle with 15-shot magazines. I have several 15-shot magazines, and I've had them for a long time. And of course, this holster will fit my Beretta 92FS. That's really what it's made to fit. But something I really like about this holster, and I know I've demonstrated this before, is that it will fit a lot of different handguns. Steyr GB caliber 9x19 with 18-shot magazines. I have several 18-shot magazines, and I've had them for a long time. And this fits in this holster just fine. It'll also fit Colt Government Model caliber 38 Super. Great. Rock Island Armory 1911 platform, caliber 9x19, with 15-shot magazines, which I've had for a long time. It's in there just fine. What about a Glock? Now, here's my Glock Model 22, caliber 40 Smith & Wesson, with 15-shot magazines. I have several 15-shot magazines, and I've had them for a long time. You know what? It fits in the holster just fine. What about the Glock Model 21 in caliber 45 ACP? Now it is a little bit bigger handgun. It's a 45 ACP with 13 shot magazines, of which I have several and I've had them for a long time. And no, I might stuff that in there and get it to fit in a pinch, but that's not gonna be really practical. Now, the sad thing about this holster is when the military made the transition from the M9 to the M17, the M17, caliber 9x19, with 17-shot magazines, of which I have several, and I've had them for a long time. It doesn't quite fit. The FN57, with 20-shot magazines, of which I have several, and I've had them for a long time. Yeah, that doesn't fit either. What about the Sig Sauer... P229. Now it's a 40 Smith & Wesson, which has a 12-shot magazine, and I've got a couple, and I've had them for a long time. And it looks like, no, that's definitely not working. So, it'll fit some handguns, not others. However, it does fit the handguns that I typically use most often. Now, in talking about the M17, that brings up the thing about extended magazines. Now, this is a 17-shot mag. Here's a 21-shot mag. I have a couple, and I've had them for a long time. And you can see that sticks out the bottom of the grip a little bit, but only a little bit. I'm not going to call that obtrusive. Now, of course, this doesn't fit in this holster, but you can see that if I had the right holster, that's not obtrusive. I could carry that very easily. Well, by contrast, if I had my M9 and I put in, in this case, 92FS, and I put in my 30-shot magazine, that's going to be obtrusive. That's not going to be something I want to carry. So the 30-shot magazine has its place, and of course I've had it for a long time, but difficult to carry in the holster. The same with the Colt government model with this 17-shot 38 Super magazine. Again, that's going to get in the way trying to carry that in the holster. However, the FN57, which has 20-shot magazines, I also have a 30-shot mag, which I've had for a long time. And you can see that when you put this in, it does stick out the bottom of the grip. But, again, if you had the right holster to fit it, not too bad. I could carry that one around. So, this holster is great because it'll accommodate a lot of different handguns, not all of them. And some extended magazines, and go in the holster and be okay. Others, not so much. So there was our holster and LBV and firearm and magazine fashion show. And again, remember there were reasons that I had to do this. 
Now, an important thing to keep in mind, as I'm standing here right now in November of 2022, we have a couple of presentations that have already been filmed, they're in post-production, but they might air after this one does. So you may see me wearing a different rig, but it looks like for the foreseeable future, the rig you're gonna see me using is this one with my Colt government model. Now that's going to bring up the question that people will ask about, gee, Paul, aren't you on private property? Yes, I am, but there's more to it than that. So again, bear with me. So if you've sat through this whole thing, thank you for your patience.